and you're right to say that um, uh, this is as much about security uh, as it is about you know beautification uh, troubled spots yes um, in every zone in Lagos Lagos as you know is divided into five uh, administrative centers and the promise of the governor is to say that no part of Lagos will be left behind uh, in our developmental you know project uh, light up Lagos project is part of it uh, we believe it will help in terms of traffic it will help in terms of security it will help in terms of tourism uh, and the area specifically uh, talking about the mile 12 area uh, you see that we we've, we've actually been giving attention uh, to that area not only in terms of the light up project because it's there already uh, it might not have branched into the inner uh, areas and of course this will also draw attention to it to say that let us also focus more uh, in that regard but you see that in also in terms of traffic management again part of uh, what we're trying to do is to attend to every concern every need uh, that will ensure that uh, uh, people don't go haywire don't you know step out of line because uh, sorry sorry yes. back to my travel issue because I, I had uh, interaction with some of the police uh, officers, officers. Uh, um, some mobile unit who were there and uh, some of the challenge uh, they do have uh, or they had was uh, uh, trying to penetrate some of those areas uh, some of them are not uh, motorable so they were there by foot patrolling uh, the nook and crannies of those uh, that particular area yes. uh, are you doing anything to making sure that you open up such uh, places because one wonders uh, you know sometimes you get to places like that you ask the question is this part of Lagos Absolutely. I mean, this, this speaks to uh, the urban renewal challenge, you know, that we're talking about. I mean, these things have they've been there, you know, for years. Uh, if you recall that one of the key projects that we uh, have embarked upon is the 114 road project in Lagos State. Uh, and the idea is to say that every health CDA uh, in Lagos will choose two inner routes. Because, I mean, uh, there are more than 9,000 roads in Lagos. 6,000 of those roads belong to local government, you know, uh, 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 administration. Uh, and we know that those are the worst in terms of uh, uh, those that directly affect uh, people. Uh, and we say to, uh, uh, to the executive secretaries to say that pick two roads by your local council development area. Uh, the Lagos State Government will support you. Uh, the Lagos State Government has put the first 30% of what will be required to fix those roads. And, and, and the beauty of it is that um, Lagos will not be involved in which roads you, know, you choose to fix. Uh, it won't matter whether uh, you have five or 10 or 20 bad roads. We're saying that every year, pick two you know, in, 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 in consultation with, with the key stakeholders in those areas. Um, the roads that the police officers mentioned uh, 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 might not have been touched now, but what this means, what this initiative is saying is that it will get you know, to that point. Uh, what we are trying to do was not there in the past. Uh, it can only uh, uh, grow as we, as we proceed. Uh, part of why the Lagos State Governor also went there yesterday was to you know, assess, uh, uh, have, have a you know, one on one assessment of so what what's actually. What's the feeling like with the people there? It's an area that requires attention. Uh, I, I mentioned that uh, we had a meeting uh, with stakeholders from the area. And of course, part of you know, there are recommendations already, uh, which the governor is looking at. Uh, there are recommendations from uh, the leaders in those two communities, recommendations from the police, and recommendations from independent assessors that the Lagos State government, you know, also put up to say that let us look uh, at the roots and the remote causes of what could be causing the strife. You know, uh, you recall in 1999 uh, uh, when uh, a very bloody. Uh, um, fracas, you know, happened there. Uh, one of the recommendations at that time uh, was for government to consider the possibility of actually relocating the market. Uh, that was 16, if not 17 years ago. Uh, 16, 17 years down the line, uh, maybe it's high time that we revisited, you know, that recommendation in line with what the stakeholders from that, you know, those two areas are saying now. No, are they are saying the same thing. Well, we are studying, you know, their recommendations. But the possibility of that, I will say, uh, uh, is very high, even though it's an important market. Uh, it's like the food basket of Lagos State. Uh, a good chunk of, of, of what we consume in Lagos, of course, as you know, you know, comes from the north. And therefore, you expect that those who are transacting, you know, on a daily basis uh, will choose to live around that area. But as the city grows, as the city develops, uh, part of what we 
try to do is to uh, is to also consider uh, the environmental impact, the urban renewal challenge, and to say that if it will be necessary uh, to uh, relocate the market, if it will be necessary, uh, that will be part of what could be considered. I can tell you without a doubt that uh, one of the recommendations from the stakeholders themselves uh, is to say that it, it, it probably will be necessary to uh, ban uh, the use of uh, commercial motorcycles within so those areas. Area. Because the, 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 the direct root cause of what happened last Wednesday, uh, you know, was an Okada, you know, rider hitting uh, a pregnant woman and refusing, you know, uh, to attend to her, saying that uh, rather than me do this, go and deal with the boys who collect money. And the ban is still on. Oh, the ban is still for on. For commercial motorcyclists in some places in Laos, isn't it? Oh, yes, restricted. You know, you know they're restricted in, in, in some areas. Uh, uh, it does not affect that part, part of, of Lagos. Yes. Yeah, because you really can, I mean, you're allowed by law, you know, for now, you know, to use uh, commercial you yeah. know, motorcycles. Uh, uh, we understand that, that there's a river yes. around the Julisi area. Correct. where some yes. suspects usually lodge or reside. Uh, is the police going to go into those areas? They are already there. They are already coming. Because they said, well, they won't go as of yet. No, they are already there. They are already there. They are already okay. working on it. The Commissioner of Police was actually with the governor yesterday. You know, he took him around. Uh, he showed him all the key areas. Uh, they know what, uh, uh, what we need to do. Don't let us forget the fact that uh, even with the police, there are challenges. Uh, uh, policing is a federal responsibility. Uh, uh, you heard what the Inspector General of Police said uh, on Friday that with 317 police officers, a uh, thousand in, in Nigeria, that's grossly inadequate. That's for the entire country. For a country of 170 uh, million people, we, we, we fall badly, fell short of the recommendation of the United Nations. Um, Lagos can't increase the number of police officers, unfortunately, and there's no state police. But we can do that which we have always done. Uh, which is to support the police officers uh, with equipment and the gadgets that are necessary. And having identified those uh, key volatile areas, uh, areas like the one that we are talking about, uh, uh, it only follows logic that uh, we can't uh, leave that part of town unattended, security-wise. I mean, uh, the CP, we understand, uh, our correspondent who covered the area was saying yes. that uh, uh, the Commissioner of Police had told him that that area was not part of their jurisdiction. And that's why we had to bring it up if they've gone there. But you said they've gone there. No. <laughs> okay. The, the other matter, I'd like to bring up the issue, when you say knowing the areas, volatile areas, also it would involve knowing the people that live around there. Absolutely. There was a scheme that was started by the last administration. Yes. Is that still in process, the uh, registration? Which, which one? Which the one resident one? registration Oh, yes, program. it is. It is. And, and uh, we are uh, uh, adding to the layer of its efficacy, uh, if you like, uh, which is necessary because, again, uh, we talk about crime. Uh, part of uh, uh, what we need to do in bringing down crime, uh, in encouraging our youths to, uh, uh, you know, step out of, you know, uh, the, the the crime entanglement, is to get them engaged in other in other areas. And, and one of the things that we have done uh, is to establish, as you know, uh, the 25 billion naira employment trust fund, uh, targeting startup businesses. Uh, those, you know, uh, who can approach uh, banks and financial institutions.